What is going on? Gilligan Phantom is getting spray foamed. I just got back from Philadelphia. This place is a disaster. And spray foam is coming in three and a half hours. My electrical lines didn't stay up. That's another thing I gotta fix. I gotta clean this up and mask this off before they get here. And I don't even think I have time to film it. All right, I got one wall of windows masked off. And I'm really happy because I feel like I caught a huge break. And that is the width of this construction paper is almost exactly the width of the window. And so it was pretty easy to do it alone. So I'm just gonna show you my process real quick. I got a face on the back of my You don't understand. Back window is masked. We're laughing and screaming, as my dad liked to say when we're making great progress. One hatch is done. Okay, I taped up my, my lights in the back, and I did that because I had a sneaking suspicion I might want to remove them someday. And this way, I'll just be fighting with duct tape instead of with spray foam when I remove them. I thought it would be quicker to just tape this up, so that's what I did. And now you can see in here a bit better while you're working. This is so cool. I have my electrical lines taped up. I've got the front masked off. I got 40 minutes till these guys get here and I just have to do the floor and this little box back here. I only had like four hours to do that spray foam masking. And while I was doing the work, I was thinking about, it's like a, like a principle or an idea. And that's that your work will expand or contract based on the amount of time that you allow yourself to do it in. It's like, ah, I can do it tomorrow. But if you have to do it within the next couple of hours, you just have to get it done. And that's a really cool thing about working that I realized when that was going on because as soon as I had finished, barely, the spray foamers showed up. You can talk about the war till you're blue in the face. Cover your bruises all with Queen Anne's lays Complain about the misdeeds, violence and haze Lecture the way to all he's clearing your plates But me and you, babe, we've been bending the rules Selling our souls like they're fossil fuel I got some wheels and a pan So there it is, spray foam has been sprayed. And all I can say right now is wow, this stuff is just everywhere. This is not like the Foam at Green or the Home Depot or Lowe's products. This stuff is coming out of a nozzle, 200 PSI and just flying everywhere. I have a serious amount of work cut out for me. I'm also really upset with myself now for putting this conduit and possibly even for wiring like this because this stuff just got pushed out and pushed out and I don't know how I'm gonna get my ceiling flush with this thing. I think I might have to add a furring strip here just to get around that. I'll figure this out. I think the end product is gonna be great but right now I just all I see is just like 20 hours of scraping. I wanted to give you my tips for masking off for spray foam. Clear packing tape, duct tape, brown paper rolls, painters, plastic, and saran wrap. Get all of those things and get more than you think you need. I didn't have a lot of time, so I cut a couple corners. You need to be like really zealous. You need to kind of overdo it. I would take that clear packing tape and I would run it along every furring strip, the whole face of the furring strips. The, the spray foam doesn't stick to it, so you can just peel that off. You'll have a nice clean surface. Um, I would probably saran wrap things like the dashboard, and that would provide a ton of extra protection. That's it, really. 
What did you guys think about that spray foaming job? Was it top notch? Was it a little subpar? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Hey, bud, you can do this, right? I believe in you, buddy. You can do it.